Hi students and family, this is Miss Margo here. Hola estudiantes y familia, aquí la maestra Margot. Um, I want to make a video for you guys um, because, you know, for you know all that is happening in the world, I feel that, you know, making a video for you guys, it would be kind of different interaction, but also it would, um, make me feel connected with you guys. Es un poco extraño una interacción por videollamada o por video o por cámara, este, pero pues es, es bonito eh, sentirse conectado con mis estudiantes y con ustedes familia. Así que le voy a decir hola a mis estudiantes. Um, hi Adriana, hi Kimberly, hi Eduardo, hi Marjan, hi Leila, hola Johnny, hola Jessica, Aurora, Nasir, hi, hi Abri, hola Lia, hi Daniel, hi J. William, hola Jose, hola Evelyn, hola Ariel, hi Brayland, hola Hazel y Margaret, hola. I hope that you are doing well and that you are keeping yourself entertained at home, maybe playing with some, um, some of your siblings, with your dad or mom, but that you're making this time valuable. So before I read the book that I brought here, I have um, a book really, really um, cool. I wanted to read this phrase to you because I was reading The Little Prince last night, um, estaba leyendo un libro and, y encontré esta frase which, say, which says the essential is invisible to the eyes lo esencial es invisible para los ojos lo hermoso es invisible para los ojos es eh, del pequeño príncipe eh, estuve leyendo ese libro ayer y me encantó eh, ya lo había leído cuando era más joven pero lo volví a leer y son una de las um, so I brought a book here. I know it's a uh, it's in my computer, but because I don't have any books here, but I wanted to um, kind of share this book with you guys. So I hope that you enjoy this book. Okay, should we begin? Should we begin? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> This book is called Totally Bored Boris, and it's by Hans Wilhelm. Okay. Have you ever had a day when you felt really bored? Have you? Because I have. <laughs> when you were even too bored to play with your friends or read a book? I know what those days are like. What makes it work is when nobody pays any attention to you or sees how bored you are. That can really make you angry and that can make you feel like teasing or fighting. Boris, the little bear in our story, has a day like this. He can think of anything to do. He doesn't want to play with his little sister or her friends, but his attempt to bother them turns out very differently from what he had expected. You can make your predictions now. What is going to happen to little Boris? Is he going to find something to entertain him? Did you think? Let's see. Boris had played with a lot of toys. He had read all of his books. But now he didn't know what to do next. He thought and thought. But he couldn't think of nothing to do. Boris was totally bored. Finally, Boris got up and went to his father. He tooted his trumpet and said, Let's do something. I am doing something, has said his father. I'm busy painting. Why don't you go fishing? I mean, that is a good idea. But Boris didn't like that, I think. Fishing is not fun to do alone, said Boris. Please do something with me. I can't right now, said his father. Why don't you read a book? 
I'm tired of my books, replied Boris. Boris hoped that his mother would do something with him. What do you think? Do you think that his mother was, is going to do something with him? I love to, said his mother, but I promised your little sister I'd bake some cookies with her. Why don't you help us? No, 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 no. I hate my sister and I hate baking cookies. Do you think that is nice to say? I think it's a little rude. Then he stumbled back to his room. Maybe there's something to play with there. He said. He took his trumpet with him just in case there wasn't. Boris could hear happy noises coming from the kitchen. The shouting, the and laughing made him feel even worse. He decided to go to his trip house. I mean, that sounds like fun, going to a trip house. And if you can play there, that's fun. What can I do? What can I do? He asked himself over and over. There were lots of things he didn't want to do, but nothing that he really wanted to do. But as soon as Boris had climbed up the tree, he saw that there was nothing to do. It was as boring as being back in his room. Did you feel bad for Boris because he couldn't find anything to do? Did you? Suddenly, a huge cardboard box came walking by. From inside came the voice of Boris' sister chanting, I am my way to build a castle, but no one will know where it is. It's a secret. <gasps> a secret castle. From his tree, Boris could see exactly where she was going. Building a castle, he thought. What a boring idea. If I had that box, I would make a spaceship out of it. He kept watching as his sister and her friend began their work. I think that making a castle is a good idea. Also, making a spaceship is also a good idea, right? Both are good ideas. But I don't think that Bori has a nice attitude. Do you think that he has a nice attitude? Let me know. Soon, Bori saw everyone pasting cut out and button on the castle and painting pictures on the walls. Bori knew what he would have done instead. A spaceship would need rockets and aerials and lots of other things. But then he remembered that he was much too bored to do anything anyways. The next thing Boris saw was his sister and her friend carrying streamers and creepy paper. I saw they were going to have a party, Boris thought. So what? I hate parties. But he kept watching them from his tree house. Do you really think that he hates parties? Or do you think that he has been just sad? Mother gave us all her old jewelries and clothes to play dress up in. His little sister said very loudly as she passed under Boris' tree a few minutes later, I'll be a princess, but you won't see it. Of course he won't see it. Boris thought to himself and he acted as he weren't even interested. I'm not showing you any pictures because I don't think you can see them. But I hope that you are enjoying this book. These dress up sounded very noisy and cheerful. Boris imagined what he would dress up as if it were his party. A spaceman or even an alien from a strange planet. That would be fun. But then Boris saw that the other were having a good time anyway. That made him feel more out of sorts than ever. When they paused, saw the princess could take a snapshot, Boris threw twigs down at them. But they were having too much fun 
to notice. The sweet smell of the freshly baked cookies drifted up to the Boris treehouse. The pitcher or juice made him feel thirsty, but nobody paid any attention to him. They were too busy laughing, eating, and having a good time together. This is too much, said Boris. When he stopped, there was a silence. There was no talking or giggling. The trumpet's nose had put, he had put an end to their silly, fun, and bad party. Boris felt very pleased with himself. He was like, wah, wah. He tried to stop the party. But suddenly he heard his name called from the below. Boris, a trumpeter is what just a royal feet needs, called one of the guests. How about it? Would you be the king's trumpeter? Boris was about to say something very rude. But then he thought for a moment and said, maybe I could be the trumpeter. But I'll only do it if I have 20 cookies. <gasps> How about three? Said the little sister, looking at the almost empty bowl. Okay, said Boris, that's a fair price. And he climbed down from the tree The party turned out to be fantastic. The trumpeter trumpeted. The king drummed. The royal court danced. And Boris forgot all about his boredom and nothing to do. And, oh, but he did not forget about the cookie which the princess had saved especially for him. How sweet. The end. So, yes. They had fun at the end. He gave up, he gave up, and he joined the play, right? Because I feel that he just wanted to play, but nobody wanted to play with him, you know? But at the end, they all played together, right? So, you know, in these times where we are at home, maybe find something to do to play with your brother, sister, mother, um, any relatives, with the cat, with your dog, okay? Okay, so this is it for me. Um, I hope that we can keep, you know, connecting through videos and, you know, from phone calls or anything. I hope that you stay safe with your families and I will see you again very soon, okay? Espero que disfruten este tiempo para crear este, más vínculos con la familia, eh, este tiempo para jugar, para aprender de otras maneras, ok, así que se cuidan y espero verlos pronto, seguro que los extrañaré mucho, ok, cuídense.